Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to cover another flow use case. The use case here is that I want to be able to send an email to the primary contact role just by using a button on this opportunity page. And this is actually revisiting one of my really old videos. I think it was three years ago where I posted this video using Flow, but at the time Flow had a really different look. So I wanted to kind of make an updated version and this was also requested by Janet here. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so let's go to our setup and start building the flow. Type flow here and we'll take you to the flow screen. The flow has gotten really better than back when it first came out. The UI itself is uh, so much better now. So I'm going to new flow and in this case, I'm going to use screen flow. And the reason I'm using screen flow is because I want to be able to interact with it as in I need a button on the opportunity page. It is not a record triggered or any of these other flows. We're going to use screen flow and hit create. So the first thing I want here is actually query the opportunity contact role. So going to get records. But, um, and then you just type in the object name. All conditions are met. So here the condition is first, I'm going to pass the opportunity ID. And whenever you're using a button that is using the opportunity page or any record for that matter, you always want to create a new resource and it should exactly be spelled like this. So you need to have a record ID resource and this should be a text type and you are able to send this value from the opportunity page or any other object that you're using so that is my opportunity id and i also want to make sure that the contact is primary so i'm going to say there's a field called is primary equal to true and if there are multiple primary contacts ideally there should not be multiple primary contact um, that would be a business requirement. So in this case, I'm only going to select the first record because I only want it to send to one primary contact. And you can add multiple conditions. Maybe you also want to have like a role is a decision maker, for example. So it really depends on what your requirement is. Here you have three options. You can either automatically store all fields or you can also choose fields and assign variables. So the difference here is if you know what fields you need, and you want to keep it specific to that field, I would go for option three. This is what I usually do. But to keep it simple, you can also store all fields and that will store all the opportunity contact role fields. Since there aren't many fields, I'm going to leave it to that and hit done. At this point, we have the opportunity contact role and that will have the contact ID as well. But I actually need the email of that contact. So I'm going to query the contact to get the email. So get records. And this time I'm going to query contact and hit contact there. And here I'm going to say, give me the contact whose ID is the contact role dot contact ID. If I created an actual variable to store the email or the ID, I would actually use that value here. But since I didn't create, Salesforce automatically will create the opportunity contact role variable. So you can just use that and dot contact ID. Okay, so we have the contact and same situation here. So we're gonna get the first record and I'm just storing all the fields. Just to show you what this other thing looks like is, I'm gonna select option three. In this case, what you need to do is, you'll have to actually create your own contact variable. You can also do separate variables. Here, you can actually be very specific on what values you want to store to which variable. Let's say I wanted to just store the email because that's all really I care about. I just want the email value. I don't need other things from contact. Then I will just say, create a new resource and make it a text type because there is not really an email. And I will just say, contact email.
hit done. And what this is going to do is it's first going to query the contact. Then it's going to find that email of the contact and assign it to this variable. If I were to try to find other fields from the contact, I can't do it because I actually just specifically store email. So just know that this option is there for you to use. No records are returned. Set the specific variables to null. We don't want failing. So now we have the opportunity contacts and we have the email that we want to send email to. Next step is actually using action to send an email. So here we're going to say all type and we can just say core action and in the core action you'll be able to see send email. Now you could use email alert but the email alert will actually won't work in this case because email alert literally allows you to set the recipients right here in your email alert setting. So that is for a different use case that we can get into. Uh, but for now, we're just going to send email from the flow itself. Contact. You can either just add the body right here and that would be fine. Or you can use a new resource to create a text template and then add your body right here. Testing. Email body. Subject. So you can either send a collection of email addresses or email addresses directly here, comma separated. So if you have like a list of emails in your flow, you can just send it directly from here using the collection. I think there is a limit of five email recipients for flow. Um, but definitely play around with that. I'm just going to add in my value because I already have the variable created, which is this one primary contact email. So instead of hard coding the email here, I'm just using my primary contact email because that's the email I want to send the email to. I'm just going to check this um, to see what this does and hit done. So our flow is looking pretty ready. Now, before I activate this, I want to actually debug this and see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit debug. To be actually able to debug this, I'm going to find an opportunity ID, which has a primary contact role, and make sure that's the correct email. I'm going to go back there. And the record ID is now opportunity ID. Now, let's see what happens. Looks like there was an e error. like it did not find a contact role because the decision maker field is empty. So because one of my requirement was the decision maker, I'm going to delete that as well because I don't really have that requirement. I hit save again. Debug again. Same value run. And let's see what happened. So this time it actually did find an opportunity contact, found my email, and that's my body, email body, and sending an email. So let me see if the, I got the email. Okay, so I did get an email, but it came along with the tags. So I'm going to go back to my flow, go back to my email, and going to tweak this a bit. Actually, I need to set this to true. I did some research on this element and supposedly I can set it to true and it will send me a rich text. So let's check that out if it, that works. I'm going to save it again, do the same process, hit debug. And that looks perfect. So I'm actually really happy with this enhancement. Um, I'm not sure which release this came in, but this is super helpful because I've never been able to send an email without the tags. So this is super cool. And then, so really you can customize your email however you want it to, because you can use the rich text functionality and add colors, pictures, if you like, change the text font size, whatever. So all of that can work here. And all you need to do is send the value true from the formatted body. And we are not done yet. So after you're done and you're happy with the flow, you can activate the flow. And one final piece you need to do is create 
a lightning action to place it on the page because that was the main requirement. So we're gonna go to opportunity object, go to lightning button links and actions, click new action, and you can say flow. And our flow was called opportunity screen flow send email to op contact. And I'm just going to say send email to primary contact. You may want to come up with a smaller name for that. So that's going to take a lot of space. Hit save. And we're still not done. We need to add this action to the page. You can either do that by lightning page. Let's try that first. So you can go to the lightning page. Or you can drop it on the page layout. So over here, if you are using the dynamic action, which is on top right here, you can upgrade to dynamic actions if you haven't done this. This is the first time I'm doing. I'm going to start from scratch because I don't care about other buttons, but you may want to just migrate over. If you do this, you can just control your buttons directly from here. You don't have to go to page layout. So that's the difference. You can either add it on the page layout or add it on the dynamic action. Since everything is moving over, you may just want to come here for simplicity's sake. And now I'm going to add action that I just created. Is send email to primary contact. You can add other actions and save. And make sure this is assigned to my org. And I'm going to go back to my screen and refresh this few times. Sometimes due to caching, it may take a while. Okay. So we have send email to primary contact. You can just click this button and it will send the email. Now, one more thing you can do on your flow is add another screen after the email send to say, hey, your email was sent successfully. You can close this window. So that will just give the user more feedback into just to make sure like they actually send the email. You can add another screen right here and give them the success message to say that your email was sent. All right, that is all I have for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or thoughts and if you have any other flow use cases that I'll be happy to look at as well. Thank you so much for watching.